Hello friends, and welcome to a look at how you can add common drawing guides using the Safe Areas feature in OpenToons. And if you're unaware, OpenToons can show guides on screen to help you keep your animation within the visible boundaries of the output source, like for TV or film. And you can show them by right clicking the Safe Area button to choose which one to show. And then simply click the button to show it. And once an area is showing, you can right click and choose another until you find the one you want. And if you're working in traditional formats, this is really useful for ensuring that the main action stays within these bounds. But to those of us producing content for viewing on the internet, they don't really offer much. But it got me thinking, could I use these as drawing guides? And you can add your own horizontal and vertical guidelines by clicking on the ruler at the top of the screen or down the left of the screen. Which is really useful for temporarily having lines to measure out your action. And you can temporarily hide them using the guide option in the view menu. Or completely remove them by clicking and dragging them away from the viewer. And I often use the marks on the ruler to measure out the lines evenly. But adding ruler guides for common lines or divisions can be a pain. Because they're not saved and adding guides for thirds or whatever split you want is easy to get wrong. So is there a better way? And I think you can guess by the title of this video that yes, there is. You can define your own guides to appear in the Safe Area Buttons menu. So as it happens, these Safe Areas are stored in a file on disk. So to add more areas, you just need to edit this file. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'll show you how you can edit it to add your own guides. But first, I'll show you where you can download the ones I've prepared with some common guides in it. So browse to your OpenToons Stuff folder. Then in there, look in the config folder. And here you'll find a file called safearea.ini. And this is the file that contains all of these safe areas. So all you need to do is replace this file with one of mine that you can download for free from my Gumroad site. So browse to my Gumroad site, and the link is in the description. And here you can also see two of my OpenTunes support applications. First there's my backup tool for keeping running backups as you work, and can restore your project to an earlier version. And then there's Riot, my tool for adding automatic lip sync to your animations. And I've got videos showing how both of these work listed in the description below. So choose to download the drawing guidelines file by clicking on it, and then enter zero to download this for free. Or if you want to make a contribution to help me out, then feel free to do so. Then hit add to cart, enter your email address, and then download it. So once downloaded, unzip it. And then inside the zip, you'll find a folder for each version of the file with the safe areas file inside. First, there's the original safe areas file, so you can get back to it after making any changes, if you make a mistake. Then there's the safe area file with only my drawing guides in it, and I might add new ones in the future, so this might contain different guides to those I'm showing today. Then there's a file with these original areas in, as well as my guides, so that you can use both at once. And finally, I've included the file that I'll use in my demo shortly when I explain how to add your own. So to use one, just open the folder, and I'll show you my guides here first. And then drag a copy of the any file to the config folder. And copy that in there. Replace the destination file. And that's it. And you don't have to restart OpenTunes to use them, because they're loaded each time you click on the Safe Area button. So go to Open Tunes, and then right click on the Safe Area button, and you'll see the new options that's taken directly from that any file. So I'll choose the first guide, which is Half, and then click the Safe Area button to show it. So this is simply a line drawn halfway, horizontally and vertically. And the next one is Thirds. And this splits your screen into thirds, so you can use the rule of thirds for laying out your composition. 
Then we've got the golden section, which is another version of a good composition. And then we've got quarters and eighths, just to get a smaller division. And then we've got basic horizontal lines and vertical lines. And then a grid, which is simply a combination of both. And all of these last three have alternate colouring to make following a line easier. So there's the initial guides that I think could be useful. And as I say, I might add more later. So if you have any ideas of useful guides that will help everyone, or have made your own, share them in the comments below, or tell us about them over on my Discord server. But how can you make your own guides? Well, you just edit this INI file, and that's what we'll look at now. So first, you want to make sure you take a copy of the safe area file, just so you don't lose the original areas if you change your mind. So the best way to look at these is if I copy over my demo safe area file. So go back to the zip file, and in the demo folder, we've got a safe area INI file. So we'll copy that into the config folder, and we'll replace it, and then we'll edit that in Notepad. OK, so first you can see there's an index title to each area, where each title is indexed with a unique number starting at zero. Then you have a number of areas, and each one of these draws a box on the screen, which I'll show you shortly. And then there's a name, and there's some limitations on the characters you can use, so you might need to keep it basic. So let's take a look at these areas in this file. So all areas draw a box that is mirrored around the center point and are defined by two numbers. So if I choose this first area of my list, which has the name 50-90, then you'll see the safe area. And the two numbers define how far from the center to the edge that it's shown, horizontally and vertically. So this box, from the center, is shown halfway to the left, so that's 50%, and then 90% to the top and bottom edge. So if we take a look back at this file, you see the first entry is only one area defined, with the first value at 50 and the second at 90. So that's 50% to the left and to the right, and 90% up and down from the centre. So this shows how you can add boxes like this on screen, but to add guidelines, you just need to set one of these values to 100. So you can see the next guide is set to 25 and 100, which is 25% of the way from the center to the left, and 100% to the top. So if I go to Open Tunes and show this, you'll see the distance from the center to the left this is 25% across, and the height is 100% all the way to the edge. So although this still adds a box on the screen, at 100% height you can't really see the edge of the box, it's at the top and the bottom of the camera view. So it looks like we've just added two vertical lines. But if this bothers you, you can always add a second guide box all the way around the edge of the screen to cover this small line. Now I've done that for the next guide, showing horizontal lines. So if we show that, so we can see the two horizontal lines here, but we've also added a box all the way around the edge. And I've made these two lines 33% away from the centre towards the top and the bottom, which splits each half of the camera into a third, splitting the whole camera area into three-thirds. So to create multiple lines, all you need to do is to add multiple areas. So if we take a look at the next example, you can see I've added a single line in the centre by using zero as the vertical distance, and then there's two more lines with a second area at 50%. So this is in fact one single box to create those two lines. So this splits the camera into four areas horizontally. And finally, you can draw these lines in different colours to make them stand out from each other. So they're drawn in red by default, 
but you can add three number values after this for the RGB colour. So if we take a look at the colour wheel here at the bottom right and choose a colour, so if we choose a turquoise colour, you'll see the RGB values are 184, 245 and 255. So you just type these separated by commas after the two position numbers and your line will be drawn in this colour. So if I show the last example safe area with colours, you can see the lines are all drawn in different colours. So the centre is the default red colour and then I've got a purple box and then green and then blue. And you can see these in the any file at the bottom here. That's purple, that's the green colour and that's blue. So there you go, a rundown of how you can create guidelines using the safe area mechanism. And don't forget to share your useful guides with the rest of the community, either here in the comments or over on the Discord. And if you like this kind of tutorial or are interested in animating with OpenTunes, then subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I release my next video. And I look forward to seeing you soon for that. And that's a guarantee. Yeah.